Hello everyone, today we are here with Jill Maitman from Natural Talents and she is my guest for another episode from CEO Portray. Jill, lovely to having you here. Hi Nadine, it's a real pleasure to be able to speak to you today, thank you. Lovely. So your business, Natural Talents, is based in the UK, but you work with a lot of companies internationally. Can you tell us a little bit more about what it is you do? Yes, of course. So I basically work as an executive business coach and mentor. I, um, I deliver one-to-one -one executive business coaching and career coaching. And that's predominantly with global leaders in large corporates and mm -hmm. large public sector organizations and yep. some local SMEs as well. Um, I also deliver group leadership and management training. And also I'm qualified to administer psychometric tests. So that includes personality questionnaires and 360 degree feedback. Oh, wow. You have a very, very broad portfolio. So let me ask you about the psychometric test. That is something um, I think we all in our career have filled out one or the other. Um, and they're really for you the basis of you working with your coaches, isn't it? Yes, uh, so I, as I say I'm trained and qualified to administer a, a range of psychometric tests and personally I find it very useful to identify basically the, the leaders uh, and managers key strengths but yeah. also areas of improvement, um, their potential to um, sort of be upskilled so that could be for a promotion to um, a more senior role, uh -huh. senior role um, or just to upskill in their current role. And also, um, I think I'm one of the um, very few executive business coaches in Europe who's able to provide 360 degree feedback. So that's online, but also predominantly face-to-face -face 360 yeah. degree feedback, which is really, really popular, especially with American companies. So I work with quite a few American companies, and that's a real opportunity to identify, as I say, key strengths, development areas, to really find out in a 360 degree feedback way, um, you know, what, what the, um, the coaching client is going to be working on and developing. And that's not just to develop and improve them as an individual, yeah. but so sort of working with the, the senior leadership team um, and it has, you know, it improves business. Yeah, so it is a really good tool to have a very holistic approach about how you can help not only your coachee but also the people he directly leads and which also has this impact further on in a company that's right yes nadine so it can as the same not only help the c-suite executive improve but also how they interact um, yeah. well with their their senior leadership team but also how they can influence culture mm -hmm. uh, significantly improve the business performance as well that is, that is fascinating indeed. So I was just thinking, it's like you were saying, um, you work with a lot of, of, of coaches. Um, so what are basically the big results you help your, your coaches achieve? Yeah, so the, obviously everything's confidential, as I'm sure you appreciate, and that's one of the, um, the reasons that I'm trusted to work with a lot of clients. Yeah. Um, um, but basically, there are some, yeah, absolutely. Um, there are some key um, issues that are known, um, you know, they're very much publicized online from a lot of companies regarding the key issues faced by um, CEOs and C suite executives, mm -hmm. senior managers um, at the moment. And that can be anything around, uh, especially in the UK at the moment, managing and leading uncertainty, change, um, sort of dealing with. Um, major transformation basically being able to be agile as um, an individual and as an organization um, also dealing with high workload global travel um, email management it comes down to sort of basics like email management um, really trying to prioritize the priorities trying to empower and delegate um, work to to teams as well so that mm -hmm individuals can feel more valued yeah, yeah. Um, a whole range of, of topics um, that we can help address and 
the key is really to achieve sort of measurable, noticeable and ch uh, behavior change, but also um, results within the business yeah. as well as the individuals. That's indeed fascinating, especially like you're saying, changing, like behavior change, because that's one of the hardest things to do, because we always, we tend to fall back into our old mustards. So let me ask you, what is leadership for you? What is your definition of leadership? Uh, it's a good question, Nadine. We could talk about it for a good few hours, I'm sure. Um, I guess really, especially working with a lot of American companies, um, the word authentic is really key for, yeah. for me and for my associates and clients. So it's basically um, being um, very authentic in terms of behaviors, showing and demonstrating um, integrity, being trusted, uh, leading by example, and Again, I've mentioned briefly empowering um, team members as well so that they can be the best version of themselves and to yeah. feel that they contribute. Um, but yes, we could talk about uh, leadership for, for a good few yeah. hours <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> how we yeah. um, yeah. view sort of real, authentic, and agile leadership. That is indeed what it is. So, um, where do you, in general, like, um, like we having? A lot of people who are fortunate um, to to be able to support um, executives and leaders in companies. So I personally feel very privileged um, to to be in this role as an executive coach. But where do you think is the future? Where does it go uh, of of executive coaching or coaching in general? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I mean, I've been working for myself in um, natural talent, running the consultancy now for um, well over 15 years. And when I started out, I was one of a very few executive coaches in the area um, working with sort of large companies. Um, there's been an absolute um, explosion in executive coaching and business coaching um, and coaching generally. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's going to be, um, it's going to continue as a trend with less maybe sort of large group training, there's still definitely a need um, and an interest in group training for, for leadership teams to actually get the team together. But what we tend to see and what um, has worked quite often is basically working um, individually with the leadership yeah. team. So um, providing executive business coaching and mentoring one-to-one -one with the C-suite executives, but then getting the team together as well, maybe for um, a day, for a facilitated day, so that they can actually work more closely together. But I think there's only going to be um, ongoing growth within the yeah. coaching industry. Yeah. Absolutely. And the thing is, is also, if I'm not mistaken, like you also coach new coaches to get into these, these roles? Yeah, so um, that's something that we're just launching. And we're really pleased that um, we're launching a new website um, very soon. And that's going to involve um, some new services, which are really exciting. And some of that is basically providing a coaching academy. So to upskill some of um, the recently newly qualified coaches yeah. that may haven't got, you know, the experience at senior management level. Um, so all, all the associates that I work with, we've all worked in senior management. So we understand leadership. We understand the issues. Yeah. We know how to manage teams, whereas some of the newly qualified independent coaches maybe haven't got the gravitas or the credibility at sort of C-suite or board level yet and haven't dealt with specific cases. So we're looking to um, assist those individuals as well as continuing to work directly with corporate organisations and, uh, as I say, the large public sector um, clients as well. That is beautiful. And I really appreciate it that you're taking these new coaches under under your care and really help them just to get the insights of what it is to coach at this level because that is totally different than for instance if you are a coach and i don't know you're helping them with their relationships so that there's so much difference in that one so i really appreciate that and the other thing is which, which I'm very intrigued about is you're having a retreat. Um, no, I'm not actually going on a retreat as such. Oh. I think I think, <laughs> I think if I went on a retreat, uh, some of my clients would be raising their eyebrows. So no, basically we're also um, launching a new service, which mm -hmm. is 
they're like life coaching retreats. So there are enough individuals who want to actually escape sort of um, the day-to-day -day grind, if you like, working too hard maybe. Um, and we quite often get asked if we provide individuals um, or can actually recommend retreats, but tend people quite often say that um, they don't want a rigid schedule when they're on a retreat that, and they may only want sort of half a day or a day. They don't want to go somewhere for a, um, a week and be held to sort of a fairly rigid timetable of you know, yoga at seven o'clock in the morning, meditation at eight o'clock in the morning. They want to really just work more on their individual personal yeah. goals, maybe reestablishing what they want to do, refocusing, regrouping a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, we're, we'll be launching some life coaching retreats, which can be half a day or a full day, where individuals can basically be coached in a really safe, quiet, tranquil setting. Um, they don't have a time, um, a rigid timetable of events. They can basically really assess where they are now in their work and personal lives, and then basically work on those to, um, to have a real sort of concrete um, action plan in order to make a lot of changes when they get back um, back to their offices. It is indeed important sometimes just to literally take a step back mm -hmm. and reflect, look at from, from, from a distance before going back in and a retreat is, is a beautiful way to do so. So thank you as well for organizing that. So yeah, the other you mentioned like you're working with a lot of um, organizations, SMEs um, and, and, and other corporations. How do people find you? How do you fail your, your consultancy and uh, coaching practice? Uh, I'm really fortunate to be honest, uh, Nadine. So as I say, I've sort of set up Natural Talent well over 15 years ago now and um, I was fortunate that um, I started off with quite a few large organizations and what's happened is I've spent quite a few years working with them, yeah. providing business coaching, mentoring, career coaching, you know, leadership development programs, psychometrics, 363. Uh -huh. And then when the individuals um, within the HR and learning and development um, functions have moved on to other companies, they've actually sort of picked up the phone or emailed me and asked me to go in and work with them in their new yeah. Companies. So that's been uh, really the way that the, the client base has grown and I'm really pleased. I'm still working with um, some of my clients really closely within HR that we, we've partnered with sort of over 16, 17 years. That's so um, that's predominantly how, how all the business comes in. Um, it's about 90% referral, 90% word of mouth and the rest is really people Googling um going online um finding natural talent which will be a lot easier with the new website coming up yeah so you basically you have established yourself as a trusted advisor not only for the leaders but also for the uh, as i love to say like the support consultants as in hr learning development who know okay jill is one lady we can count on and if they are facing or identifying a, cha a leadership challenge in their organization to bring you in yeah, I'd like to think so. So um, again, you know, as I say, priding myself on the uh, confidentiality, being trustworthy, basically delivering and being accessible as well out of hours, I think really key. That's one of the reasons I set up Natural Talent was yeah. so that there's sort of automated switchboards. You can basically access um, advice, you know, even after hours, especially now in the interconnected world and uh, just being online for a few hours a day. Cool. Super. So, um, one last question. Um, you mentioned your beautiful new website a few times. It's going to be launched soon, but where can people find you? Yeah, so it's going to be the same address, which is www.natural-talent.com, or people can email me directly. So it's all lowercase and it's Jill, J I L L, at natural-talent.com. Lovely. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge here, Jill. It was really a pleasure. I wish you good luck with the launch and all the, the, the very exciting uh, services you're offering. And thank you for um, your, your, your good and, and, and high spirit work. Thank you, Nadine. It's a real pleasure to speak to you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.